Hey makers, this is Yana with Makis. Today I'm going to show you how to create double digits for your 3D layered numbers. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe for more helpful tutorials for making cake toppers. Also, be sure to get your freebies from the link below. Okay, well, let's get started. So here we are in Cricut Design Space. First, what you're going to do is upload your file. Go to Upload Image. Find the file on your computer and drag it over. You can find the link to the images under the video below. So when you first bring this in, you're going to see all the numbers together. Go ahead and ungroup them. Choose the numbers that you want to keep and delete the other ones. I'm going to be using 1 and 5 to create 15, so I'm deleting all the rest. First, I'm going to show you a method how to bring these two together, which creates a little gap in between, and I'm going to show you how to get rid of that gap. So I have number 1 and 5. The very first thing you want to do is you want to select all, and you want to align top. Now you want to make sure that you bring these together, overlapping the last layer just a bit. And again, make sure you align as you go along. So align top. So for this to work, you want to make sure and select the last layer. So in this case, the last layer on the layer panel. Click on number one, hold shift, and click on number five. Go ahead and hit a weld right here below. Now as you can see, when we weld these two together, it creates a big gap in between. If you don't like this gap, or depending on the number that you're using, the, there could be a bigger or more odd shape than this is right here. So let's do is take the shape, take a square, now unlock your square, and let's change the color first to match our uh, teal. So go ahead and change it to the teal that we have here. And then align to the top. And then change the shape so it covers that little triangle just to just to hide it. Now again, go ahead and select these just these two layers. So we're going to select the square, we're going to hold shift and we're going to select the weld result. And we're going to go ahead and weld one more time. Looks like there was a little bit of off. I can do undo just one time. When you use weld, you can only undo once at that step and not again. So you have to be really careful. I'm going to align it one more time. Or you can choose hold shift, select these two layers, and do align top here just to make sure it's all the way aligned. And we let's do weld again. So now that we have it welded, go ahead and bring it all the way down to see what it looks like. So here we go. This method right here has eliminated this odd gap and now you have your number 15. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you another method how to put these two together. So first again, you're going to select both numbers and you're going to align top. Now in this case, you're going to go ahead and drag it until the gap is hidden. And again, select and make sure it's aligned all the way to the top. Make sure that you overlap all the way. This little triangle right here, you want to make sure that it is not visible. So let's hide it more. So in here, as you can see, more layers are overlapping. So we're going to have to take a layer by layer 
and weld each one to make it more pretty and easier to apply when we cut it out. So let's first start with the last layer. Select one, hold shift, and select five. And now go ahead and weld. Now let's bring this all the way down. Now again, we can see the, the next layer is still overlapping. We're going to select the next layer, holding shift, select the second uh, next layer for number five. And again, hit weld. Bring it down. As you can see, after welding the last two layers, the number 15 is now put together and it's going to be easier to assemble when you are done cutting it out. As always, if you have any questions, go ahead and post your questions in Marcus Makers Club on Facebook and I'll see you there. Thank you.